This video here is the reason why I'm saying that you are missing out big time if you're not watching my weekly market outlook, guys. I'll show you in a bit how I was able to predict and forecast over 200 pips move potential for a buy on USDHHF. Not only that, I will show you also how I have taken a nice buy following my prediction step by step and how you can do the same exact thing next time as well. So you better stay till then if you don't want to miss out the chance to catch crazy move like the one I'm going to show you to you in a bit. Now let's roll the intro and see you shortly on the other side boys. So now we're back here and before I jump on the chart and I start breaking down the trade, I want to show you what exactly I've said for literally two weeks in a row on both of my market outlook. So let's watch the first one that I did, the first market outlook ever. If you haven't watched it, you better watch that. And Let based me on the order flow and based on the structure of the market, I will be definitely over the next few days looking for further buys. I'm not interested in any more sell until we reach an important zone over here, which is the first supply, or until we break. That was the first market ad, literally the 20, 08, 20, Now let's see the week after, what exactly I was still waiting for. Um, almost from two weeks now, I'm expecting price to reach at least the supply zone, one and two. That's why I will be going if I see any buy. Now, how do I take in consideration the buy? Well, the buy, well, guess what? Again, that is the 0309, 2023. Like it's been, Actually, it's been nearly a month now. That's crazy. And bam, look at this. Look at exactly where price is, is right now. Okay, you guys can see that? Yes, exactly. So that was the first point I was saying on the first week, that video I was saying that I see price coming over here in this important supply zone, right? So that was four hour time frame. And again, this is the four hour time frame. Then now obviously you, you see there are two more lines here. Those are the refined lines where I've targeted for my buys. But you guys can clearly see that I've been calling this move already from these zones. And I say that's 200 pips move because if I start from exactly where I started doing the forecast, check this out. Well, actually, that's even way beyond that. It's over 240 moves. And the same things I've been doing all over all the pairs right here in this corner side. OK, so now let's get to the chart. And let me show you what actually happened and how I was able to take this beautiful, beautiful buy over here based on the analysis I was doing. So first thing first, as always, guys, never ever forget on what's going on with the higher time frame, right? So you guys can see there's a bit of markup, a bit of drawing. Those are the drawing that I did from my market outlook. So if you haven't watched that, you can go back and watch how I did the full breakdown, but no worry, I'm gonna still do it here as well for you all. So yeah, let me get started. Now we have, seeing that price has broken a specific structure. So if I go to a weekly, why is it important for me to weekly to know? Because I, as I always say, weekly, daily, four hour are the main key time frame that we as a retail trader, we can use it in order for us, right? To understand what the big boys intentions are. It's not that these time frame are the one that they're using it. No, absolutely not. But these are the time frame where they navigate the most. Like, sorry, not they navigate the most, but we can relate ourselves to it using this time frame type of time frame because this is the length that they usually takes for the big boys to what's it call it to reach that target right because we might can try to target 10 percent a month or i don't know 10 percent every two months for them it's like making 10 percent a year right which is a hell amount of money by the way sorry i just got an alert i just leave it this aside for now okay so what, what is actually happening is happening that we got high low high low high low right and then price suddenly breaks to the upside so now everything that is happening within this leg for me is just a complex pullback so you guys can clearly see that there is a purple line over here and that was the range where price literally came and gave me a nice 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 reaction over here so you guys can see there's a change of order flow high low high break to the upside retracement now this was already confirming me that this demand to the left was very strong how did i identify that simply understanding the volume that has been left behind the way the market was running away from that specific zone now check this out right when price started coming here it started ranging quite a lot isn't it so when price tapped to a specific demand to the left price did not give anything really nice over here till we had a very nice accumulation happening over here and then a sudden rally to the upside 
As soon as I saw this sudden rally to the upside, I knew that something was going to happen now. What do you guys think is going to happen? Well, simply, price was going to go back to balance everything that it has been left behind from the seller side, which is this drop all the way down here, right? So now, what is happening again, very, very interesting, is that when we, have a, we had a retracement all the way down here, right? Price again gave a very, very explosive move to the upside. And again, pay close attention, right, to the candles. Look at the size of the candle. You see the way price is leaving these places? Trust me, a lot of people that underestimate this because they're like, oh yeah, I know, brick of structure, retracement, blah, blah, blah. But remember, it's everything about putting the confluence together, especially for us that we don't have access to sophisticated tools or data. The only thing we have are candles, and those are the ones that we have to rely on in order for us to understand where we are going to go next. And that's what I do most of the time, because this size of the candle and the momentum tells us a lot about the big boys' intentions. Now, this being said, Going back to here, because that was the range where I was looking for price was ranging for quite a long time. And then based on the market outlook, because I still got the drawing over here, right? I said I was looking for um, a buy, but then if we would be broken, breaking it down over here. So let's say we had a break of structure down here. I could potentially have looked for a sell. However, my ultimate target for a buy would have been this range from literally the beginning, even this one. So this is the TP1, TP2. And what happened is that I hit a stop loss over here, right? So nothing to be ashamed about because we all hit a stop loss. And, uh, you know, I want to be as transparent as I can with you guys because everybody's always keep telling to you, oh, how you take the winning trades, how much you're making, all of it. But I'm here to show you the truth. That the truth is that it's more the time you take this losses than the time you hit TP, all right? So you're going to have more instances where you hit a lot of losses compared to the amount of winning trade you're taking however if a risk to reward and a risk management isn't a good point then you can survive in this market all right so i had a stop loss over here and i was like okay cool if i had a stop loss over here most likely what you guys are gonna think is gonna happen that price can do only two things right so if supply is taking control over here showing me intention with this break of structure break structure sorry guys what I'm expecting is price retracing and then going where? To mitigate zones like this one or this one over here, right? Now, why these two zones or three zones? Well, um, this is something that I'll leave it for another day. Uh, but those are very important key uh, point for me that I always try to target. And um, that would have been my first target. But as you can see, that failed. And as soon as it failed, that was confirmed to me the price was going to go all the way up here. Now, coming back to the the, the trade that I've taken, right, that was beautiful. It was actually super, super clean. What it actually happened is this. I have, I've seen price pushing all the way down, up here, right? And suddenly price is rejecting away from whatever level it just stepped to the left. But what caught my attention is that once we had this rejection, initially I thought that was a probably a stop hunt. So I'm like, mm, maybe we're not gonna reach here anymore. Most likely we could, you know, start reversing all the way down here. Sorry guys, all this led that I've led behind for the pairs I'm trading. And then what happened is that price kind of started, you know, um, giving a showing intention of seller to go to the downside because we, we have a lot of rejection coming over here. But then at one point I started noticing that actually we still got buyers pushing to the upside. And look at the size of the seller. We had only one massive candle. Again, you see the difference. That's what I'm talking about. When I see an important POI, what I want to see on that PY happening is this, exactly this, look at this. This is what I wanna see. This is exactly what I wanna see, right? Do you guys think that those red candles look anything close to the blue candles that I share with you? No, absolutely not. There's only one, this one. But then again, look what happened later, right? I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe we're not ready yet and we are still going there. So I'm going for a buy, that's it, as simple as that. Then I refined a zone over here, right? And again, why I refined this zone? Well, simply because here, we had a stop hunt. You guys can see, uh, actually, if I go to, let me see if I can uh, jump in a smaller time frame. All right, so let me close this one here. Let me go to five minute. All right, then let me refresh our B. Cool, so we are here right now. Okay, here we go. Let me get to this zone. All right, so that's exactly what I was looking at. Look at this. We we had a, a certain type of liquidity taken over here, right? You guys can see that. Price broke to the upside, broke to the downside, and then eventually price started building liquidity exactly just right above where I was expecting some sort of mitigation happening, which was literally this, right? So if I wanted to do like sniper entry, where is it? This zone here would have been the best, all right? Why? Because I have a very, uh, a very important unmitigated zone just below all this equal, 
right? So I was like, okay, that's very interesting. However, I think I placed my entry a little higher just because of the spread and everything. So let's see if we have, if I would have sniped that. Yeah, exactly. You see, that's what I'm talking about. So right now, yeah, I know this is a bit large because I left a pending order, right? But you can see the way exactly price stepped into it. So this one, for example, was a trade of, let me see one second. So I had, this was a nice uh, nine pips stop loss. Actually, it was 8.5. No idea why it's showing nine. But anyway, yeah, roughly that, that because I wanted to, um, because I left a pending order, I wanted to sleep. So I wanted to make sure that while I was sleeping, the trade was getting activated because, and then that's exactly what happened. It came out at seven o'clock in the morning. It could have been a nice, if I were to refine like the way I, I kind of share now, usually I use further more confluences. That could have been a nice five sell pips but i was okay with this i was like you know what yeah just leave me the way i'm doing it i don't want to you know take the risk to miss out just because of the spread or whatsoever because i was leaping and then the target was still there why here well i actually had two poy so i refined that later i went to inside the supply because obviously the supply was huge and what i did i found two py over here and i was like okay let me see which one how far that can get to it okay so that was like um yeah one two eight so i'm not sure okay one two eight I think I've touched something somewhere under here. Yeah, anyway, it was a nice one to eight. And then when the price came here, uh, I was like, oh damn, am I gonna start retracing? But then I realized that the supply has not been fulfilled yet, right? And bub, that's that's exactly when the price closed my trade. So you guys can see here is a screenshot to the right corner on the side. This is a trade I've taken. So I got the proof on the MT4. And um, and that's it. So that's pretty much what happened. So guess what is going on right now? So USDHHF now, it reached a very, very nice, um, what's it called? Nice sell zone. Currently, currently, I've taken a trade. I'm inside this cell, okay? Now, this is not a signal, guys. It's not financial advice whatsoever. It's just a personal point of view, personal um, trade I've taken for myself. So it's not a signal. Currently, I'm inside this trade. And um, the reason why I've taken this trade is because, <laughs> you see, look at this. Price came into supply. Exactly. What do you guys think is started happening over here? Look at the size of this candle. Look at the way price is reacting away from the zone. And then also on the top of that, we had a break of structure. So price is kind of shifting momentum towards the sell side. I've taken a trade over here now and I got another pair with all the analysis and everything. Not sure if it will play out or not, but it's fine. Even if I just stop loss, it takes me out. It's still fine. I'll wait for price to go somewhere above here or even to the next one and look for further sells. Or eventually what I can do oh, after doing full analysis, let's say if I hit a stop loss, right? Let me show you this. If I hit a stop loss over here, most likely what price is gonna do is, let me show you what I can expect price to do, is going to the upside, right? Retracing, mitigating this zone that has taken the liquidity and then boom, pushing to the upside. Yeah, that might be another scenario, but right now I don't wanna forecast or predict anything. I'm just reacting to what a market is telling me because that's the best thing that you guys can always do, react to what you see and not trading what you're predicting or forecasting, okay? So um, yeah. That's it. So now I can see the sell is coming to the market and I've taken this trade. So let's see how it plays out. Stop loss above the highs, a little large due to the spread and everything. It's actually very late on the day. So I'll see how this goes. I'm very, um, I risk very small on this. So yeah, let's see how, how this plays out. And uh, yeah, this being said, guys, I think uh, pretty much wrapped up the whole video. And uh, it's not complex because the thing is like, you guys have to understand that why I was looking at it is because as I was saying, Price needed to rebalance on this zone, right? So it needed to retrace. It needed to close all these imbalances to the back. And most importantly, this supply zone was very strong. How did I know this supply zone was very strong and I was expecting price to get to this level? It's because you have to always ask yourself this question. How exactly price is leaving away one specific POY, right? So in this supply zone, all this build up that you had over here, look what happened after that. Price literally melted like crazy all the way down here. So that is telling me that there's a hell amount of money within this range. So they needed to be back over here to make sure they close all the orders. And that's exactly what I was aiming for based on what I've seen over here in order for me to take the buys. And that's eventually, I didn't take the best buy, you know, of the year whatsoever because it's like a, just one to eight whatsoever. But eventually I was still able to manage to take the trade just because I was able to build the whole narrative. And you guys can see I have a purple line over here. The purple line is just like the structure. So we have the high, we have the low, we have the high, we have the low. This is a simple retracement. So I was in the retracement phase. And now eventually, if everything goes according to the plan, we might can see um, over the next, I would say probably months, or not days or weeks, price can do something like this and then drop all the way down here, right? That can be one potential. Or otherwise, if price shift momentum over here, I can look for a sell, and then from here, I can look for a buy. That's it. 
nothing more complex than that. Just try to always keep it simple. All right. So yeah, guys, I hope you like the video. If yes, as always, subscribe, share, and um, I'll do always my best to bring as much value as I can to try to keep it simple because that's the ultimate objective of the channel, trying to keep everything simple without you know using fancy terminology or whatsoever. I'll try to even give concept the way I'm giving it to you guys in the most objective way possible, all right? I don't, I don't want you guys to jump on the chart and be like, oh no, I see this, oh no, I see, no. I mean, this is what you see, this is what you use in order for you to trade and in order for you to gain whatever profit you're aiming for, right? It's pointless for you to come up with theories or idea, right, that are not even shown on the chart or in the graph, okay? So this being said, guys, I hope you truly enjoyed this um, quick breakdown, but effective as well at the same time. If you want to see even further details about um, everything explained in this video, you can go back to watch both of the market outlook because I really drop a lot of gems on both of the videos. This was the uh, yeah forecast part one, and this was the forecast part two. Definitely, I'm oh no, sorry, this one is this third one. So I think I even spoke about the second one as well, about what I was expecting on ESG Chef. So that means I've been calling this move for over like three weeks right now, and eventually we reached the target. So that's absolutely beautiful. Guys, I'm, I'm keep receiving a lot of notification. I have to go and see what's going on with all my trades and pairs. And yeah, guys, so this being said, Hopefully, I should be able to make another market outlook on the coming Sunday. If yes, then yeah, definitely catch you on that. And I uh, wish you a lovely week ahead, guys.